Cassava, also known as Eka, is an important tuber crop and is one of the major sources of carbohydrate. It is a primary food source for more than 250 million African families. Cassava is adapted to the tropics and subtropics and can be grown in very diverse environments. Cassava mosaic disease is the most important disease of cassava in Africa and the Indian subcontinent. The disease is caused by cassava mosaic virus of the genus Begoma virus belonging to the family Gemini viridae. The primary spread of the disease is by stem cuttings obtained from infected plants and the secondary spread is brought about by whitefly vector called Bemisia tabaki. The symptoms are characteristic of a mosaic disease. Early in the development of the leaf, chlorotic areas can be seen and the leaflets are frequently disturbed. An infected leaf has white or pale yellow or pale green spots. It is often twisted, distorted and stunted. The leaves have uniform or localized mosaic pattern. Heavily infested plant is distorted, retarded and dwarfed. The affected plants are stunted with reduced leaf canopy when the sets from disease plants are used for planting. The preventive control of the disease includes use of cassava resistant varieties are disease-free planting materials, control of white flies, removal of infected plants, and maintaining field sanitation. This video is going to show you about the production of vines with cassava plants through medicine tip culture. Sterilization is done to remove the contaminants from the plants. After extraction, the epigon medicine is transferred directly onto the selected growth medium and transfers the medicine tip culture to the growth room. Medicine shoots will emerge 21 days after initiation. Multiple shoots were emerged 15 days after subculturing. 
The multiple shoots were then transferred to the root initiation media. subjected to primary hardening. Twenty days later, the primary hardened plants are transferred to the polybags for secondary hardening. DNA was isolated from the clear grown virus infected plant samples and also in vitro cultured virus free plants. The sample should be immediately kept at minus 80 degrees Celsius till the DNA was extracted. Isolation of genomic DNA was done following the FDS potassium acetate method. To confirm the presence or absence of virus, PCR analysis was done with then primer to amplify the 560 base pair fragment. As a result of PCR, an expected fragment of around 500 base pair was absorbed in the DNA samples extracted from infected plants collected from trees, which is supposed to carry the virus. Among the 10 medicine to culture plants index, this plant did not show any amplification. This shows that the medicine to culture plants are free from virus. Once the medicine to culture plants are confirmed to be virus free, they are transferred to the field for mass multiplication.